Hey guys, this is George from Russell City Radio and The Roman Show, and I'm here with the cosplayer herself, Leva Bates, a.k.a. Blue Pants. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. It's always an honor to talk to you. Uh, we've interviewed you a couple times, both on The Roman Show and, of course, on, on Russell City Radio when we were known as Reality Check Radio. How are you doing these days, Leva? I'm, uh, I'm great, actually. I mean, we're at Supercon Retro. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's like returning home back at the MACC. So it's just a blast. We're having a lot of fun. Friday was bonkers in all the best kind of ways. And it uh, looks like Saturday is turning out to be the same. That is true. Uh, this is like a returning home for you uh, because basically th this is where you can be you. Like you do your cosplay as a lot of people know in your wrestling career. You don't just come out in tights or, or whatever. You, you come out as a different form of character every time you come out to wrestle, uh, which is uh, amazing. It's extremely entertaining. So how does it feel to be wrestling in front of all the people that you pretty much relate to? Uh, it's great. It's it's kind of being surrounded by like-minded people, which is always nice because you don't have to work as hard to be like, hey, why don't you like think I'm really cool and stuff? No, maybe. Okay, no, huh? But no, everyone here, they're into something. Like you're geek. Everyone's geeky about something, and here everyone's kind of geeky over similar things, whether it's gaming, comics, anime. All of it, uh, cartoons, you name it, horror, sci-fi, all of that good stuff. So, Any cosplay that's caught your eye since you've been here? Uh, that's been a lot. Uh, I just saw, I can't remember her name, the maid from uh, Family Guy. That No, 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 no. You're talking about Consuela. Consuela, that's, yeah. Oh, my God. I saw Consuela walk by a minute ago, and it made me laugh so hard because it was really funny. <laughs> Um, there's been a lot of great ones. Uh, some characters look good. I have no idea who they are. And there's others. I was like, oh, you, my God, why did you put that out? That's hilarious. It, it's a lot of cool stuff. I even saw a Stormtrooper, which is funny, because I didn't expect to see a lot of Star Wars people. And now I'm looking at uh, a Kato. So that's cool, too. I mean, just like there's so many fun, crazy things. So, yeah, it, it's hard to just pick one, because I've literally seen. Well, on. <laughs> well, on top of that, we're talking about characters and talking about cosplays and all that stuff. You got to work with some great characters up in Orlando for WrestleMania week. Uh, you got to host the Blue Party with uh, Blue Meanie in Orlando. How did that go? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was, ended up being me, Meanie, and Nova. So we were like two-thirds of the BWO. So I just was, uh, I declared myself Stevie Richards for the night. <laughs> So it was a lot of fun. We had blue drinks. Uh, there was a photo booth. We were doing blue photos. It was just silliness. Uh, James Ellsworth ended up showing up. It was like the ultimate jobber party. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good nickname for a party. Uh, so maybe a future reference, because I know the BWO gets booked a lot in places like New Jersey altogether. Is there maybe a future reference that Blue Pants can be a future member of the BWO? Oh, I'm already an inaugural member. Like, oh. Uh, I was it two years ago, first time Meanie and I met. First time we ever met, he walks up to me, he's like, Blue Pants, here's your BWO shirt, you are now a member of BWO. And I'm like, holy crap, you are like the nicest guy, thank you. So yeah, uh, it was a con in New Jersey actually, and I ended up becoming part of the NW, uh, BWO. Uh, amazing, too sweet for that. So, you know, and going on with the blue pants, you know, we all know we've seen you on NXT. Uh, we see you grow also in the independence. But I have to ask you now with Impact Wrestling also resurrecting itself, is there maybe a possibility that we could ever see blue pants resurrect herself also with Impact Wrestling as well? Uh, you never know where I'm going to be. Probably not as blue pants because blue pants is a WWE thing that I do there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I just did the one night only pay-per-view with them last month, but I was as Leva Bates. And so I was being me in a cosplay. I was doing Juko and Ashima from uh, Danganronpa series. No one knows what that is, but I was a hyperactive anime bouncy character and people loved it. So I had a teddy bear and people were like, she has a teddy bear, they're being silly, it's a lot of fun. It was a good match. It was a lot of fun. I wrestled Allie, so it was kind of like-minded characters wrestling each other. It was a lot of fun. 
Well, mind you, like uh, Ali, you know, you grew up with a lot of these great stars that are now in Impact Wrestling. One included Diamante, a.k.a. Angel Rose, now is there. Uh, you know, with all that being said, like all these great people that you grew uh, working with in the independents, uh, is it in your mind to maybe say one day, I want to now wrestle that same Angel Rose in Impact or, or Brandy Lauren, et cetera, et cetera? Of course, of course. I mean, I... I actually wrestled Angel Rose last night for FSCW. Uh, she was Melina, I was Jinx, and every time we wrestle each other, it's always just so much fun. So that match was probably one of our more fun matches because you get to do a little bit more outside of the box stuff here at FSCW. So it was a lot of fun, so you never know. You never know. There, the possibilities are endless when it comes to things like that. Any future cosplay ideas for your your uh, for your gimmick? Uh, like, well, not gimmick. I'm sorry, but for you because you're not a gimmick. You're you. Uh, any uh, future cosplay ideas for your wrestling career? Uh, one day I've been saying it. One day I want to do a Green Ranger, uh, but I gotta get the proper helmet. I'm not gonna do it without. Like, I'm not gonna use a shitty helmet. I'm gonna use a, the the proper helmet, and it's hard to get those like cheaply because you know. Budget's budget. So one day I'll do that. Uh, another day I like to have like a giant robot and come out in a giant robot at some point. Like maybe a Jaeger from Pacific Rim or a Gundam. I think that would be hilarious. So I don't know how that's ever going to happen. Uh, maybe I have to work in like New Japan where they have the budget to bring out like dinosaurs and stuff. And DeLoreans, maybe they can make me a giant robot that I can ride out to the ring in. Pacific Rim 2 is coming out, cheap plug. Uh, you're going to be one of the first ones to see it? Uh, oh yeah, I love that. I loved one. One was great. So, yes, I'm all about the Jaeger, so let's do this. Well, guys, this is George from Russell City Radio and The Roman Show with Leva Bates. Thank you so very much for your time, uh, a.k.a. Blue Pants. Guys, keep on tuning in.